This is the Washington Times front page for Thursday, July 20th, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Two IRS whistleblowers told Congress prosecutors working the Hunter Biden case agreed to bring felony charges against him, only to have that decision blocked by Biden administration appointees. Stephen Dynan reports they say the case progressed to the point where David Weiss, the U.S. attorney in Delaware appointed to lead the investigation, asked his counterpart in D.C. to cooperate on bringing charges. They say the Biden appointed U.S. attorney in the district refused the case and Weiss relinquished the felony charges to strike a plea agreement in which Hunter would admit to two tax misdemeanors. Democrats called the entire direction of the House Oversight Committee hearing an attempt to smear the president. The Pentagon is scrambling to determine what led U.S. Private Travis King to defect to North Korea. Andrew Salmon reports King was scheduled to be flown home to Fort Bliss, Texas, when he somehow joined a tour group to the demilitarized zone and ran across the heavily fortified border into North Korea. South Korean reports say King was detained after assaulting a South Korean national and damaging a police car. He was to face disciplinary action in the U.S. over the incident. The regime of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has said nothing about the incident. NFL owners are expected to approve Josh Harris's purchase of the Washington Commanders, and the $6.05 billion deal will mark the end of Dan Snyder's ignominious tenure as owner. Sports reporter Matt Paris reports the dollar amount is a record price for an NFL franchise and quite a consolation prize for an owner leaving the league under extreme pressure. Although Schneider won't bear much of a financial penalty for his disastrous tenure, he'll pay a staggering amount for the damage to his legacy, poised to go down as one of the worst owners in professional sports history. The 25 years of majority ownership by Snyder's predecessor, Jack Kent Cooke, saw Washington win three Super Bowls, make 10 playoff appearances, and post the NFL's seventh-best regular season record. Under Snyder, no Super Bowls, six playoff appearances with only two wins, and the NFL's sixth-worst regular season record. Matt also spoke to Cook's son, John Kent Cook, who made it clear that he wished Harris nothing but the best in his stewardship of the franchise. Cook was not able to keep the club in his family. His father's will determined the team be sold to the highest bidder, which turned out to be Snyder, in 1999. And finally, national political reporter Seth McLaughlin profiles 2024 Republican presidential contender Vivek Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy says he's a better candidate than former President Trump because the American electorate is hankering for a revolutionary leader who doesn't drive them insane. Ramaswamy, who in some polls is running as high as third place in the crowded Republican Party contest, would be the first Hindu president if elected. He's trying to reassure Christian voters on the campaign trail that his faith is not much different from theirs. Find all of today's Trump page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash Trump page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. The Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.